This is how I make cold brew. So this is a one and a half gallon carafe that's not all the way filled up. And I get, this is a very used nut milk bag that's a mesh version. There's a lot of different types. You want to make sure you get a fine mesh one. I've also used produce bags from like sprouts and stuff, but those end up leaving a lot more residue in the bottom of your cold brew, which you don't usually want to consume that, but maybe you do. So <clears throat> I've also, oops, I'm using some stuff I got from Costco. This is like two and a half pounds. Of, two and a half pounds. It was only eleven dollars. Eleven, twelve dollars. And I find it, it really doesn't matter too much to me what kind of coffee grounds I use to make cold brew. It all kinds of come kind of comes out about the same as far as quality wise. I mean, sure I could get some really primo stuff and make it, but I don't. I'd rather have my primo stuff hot, really. But anyways, you want really nice and coarse ground. I just used the grinder that was in there at the Costco and stuff. And I usually take this, uh, dunk this in here first. Sometimes it helps if I fold this over. And Sometimes I'll use this entire two and a half pound bag to make just that much, like one gallon basically. But you could, you know, vary it up as much as you want. Yeah. It helps sometimes to just add the water as you go kind of deal. That way you're getting it soaked and stuff. And the way I've made it recently is just using half a bag, which still makes pretty good, nice, strong, cold brew. Do a little stir. So the machine at our Costco has like up to 11 different stages of grind, and yeah, I went all the way to 11. You could probably have pretty decent cold brew in about four hours, but I usually say a minimum would probably be like eight hours. And then, you know, typically I'll do 12 hours to 24. Usually if I grind it, I want it, I want to brew it the same day I grind it. Because otherwise it might taste a little stale. And you really could brew it more than 24 hours, but it might over extract your coffee and it might get a little extra bitter. Which, when it's cold brewed, it's lower acidity and you're probably not going to notice it that much. But I'd say 12 hours is probably just fine. You notice my nut milk bag doesn't have its own little lasso thing, so this is actually like a rotisserie string that I'm going to use <clears throat> to keep it closed. It's food grade, by the way. All right, so that's on there pretty tight. It's pretty close to being full. If you notice, it floats a little bit. So what I actually do Handy Danny jar. This 
cool thing about having a spigot on this thing. So, you can probably put like ice in there, but probably wouldn't do too much, wouldn't make much of a difference. But that just keeps my bag of cold brew grounds all submerged and stuff. <clears throat> there you go, you could leave it out on the counter overnight, 12 hours, 24 hours if you really wanted to, or slide it in the fridge. 